What's up YouTube? Today we're working on a very dirty 335i. Unfortunately, it's not going to be fun. Um, I can already tell that it's got a misfire. I'm not sure which cylinder or what, but I'm going to jump in the car and get it started up just so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it sounds like. I don't want to run it for too long, cause further damage. And then we'll plug the OBD reader in. I just want you guys to get a good idea just in case you're going through the same thing or think you are. Yeah, it's got that little bit of stumble. I don't know how much it's coming over the camera, but... There it is. And no, that is not a cam. So we'll get her shut off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the lawnmower cover off and we can go from there. All right, I jumped ahead a little bit. Before we get the cover off, I'm gonna go ahead and check the car's OBD reader, or OBD2, whatever. Um, if you weren't aware, it's right here, right above the hood release. I'm gonna go ahead. Put the car in the run position. Don't start it. Cylinder two misfire. Okay. So what it looks like is the number two cylinder is not having that much fun. Let's see if any other ones pop up real quick. Nope. Same one. Okay. Now we can remove the cover. So I just kind of jumped ahead, removed the lawnmower cover. Uh, it really wasn't that hard. I'll show you guys a little bit in case you don't know. The front two, obviously not that difficult. Third one, kind of a pain in the ass. It's underneath the firewall. Um, I took a, I think it's a five millimeter Allen head to get them all three out. I don't have the biggest hands, but I don't have small hands either, so it was kind of a pain to get up under there. Also, you will want to remove this, well at least pop it off, it's not that hard. You just give it a good pull, set it up for there. Makes it a little easier to get back there and to get the cover off. So what the code reader was telling us was it's the number two cylinder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the number two coil pack, put it in the one, uh, number one cylinder, just kind of swap them. And if it follows that coil pack to the number one cylinder, then we know it's the coil pack. If not, then we've got either a dead spark plug or something even worse that I do not want to think about. So we'll just go ahead and get going on that. It's real simple. Just I don't know if you guys can see, just pop that clip up, pops the connection out, then just give it a good, good little pull. Oh, that's not good. I think I may have already found what's going on. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe focus a little bit. That is really hot, but there is oil on the coil pack, and that's not where oil should be. I'm gonna grab a light and see what's going on. So I got my handy dandy light, and after some uh, further investigation, you guys can see there is oil everywhere that oil shouldn't be. It's 
especially down there on top of the spark plug. Well guys, this video kind of went from a troubleshooting video to, but wait, there's more. I thought for sure I was just gonna need to replace a coil pack, maybe the spark plugs. Although it is a good idea that if your spark plug, or well yeah, if your spark plug goes, replace all the spark plugs while you're there. If one coil pack goes, replace the coil pack. If you can't afford all six of them, just know that the other ones are probably soon to follow. At least that's my thought. I ended up with, instead of a bad coil pack, which that coil pack is now shot, and I'm assuming that the spark plug is shot, I need a new valve cover gasket because that's all that that means. Having that much oil on top of the cylinder head and on top of the spark plug. So the next video will be me replacing a valve cover gasket. I hope you guys learned a little bit on how to troubleshoot. Like I said earlier, doesn't matter what cylinder it is, just take whatever cylinder is having the issue, take that coil pack and move it to a good one. If it follows it, then you know that it's the coil pack. If it doesn't, then it's a spark plug or something worse hopefully just the spark plug um, if it's not the spark plug or the coil pack i would definitely do a compression test on it but that's just that's i don't know that's kind of that's worst case scenario i'm sure there's other troubleshooting techniques you can do but this is just like basics because you don't want to just be ordering parts before you even know what's wrong with it now that i've rambled on a little bit Thank you guys for watching and have a great night.